Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I'm continuing to work on my mini album journal. So let's get started. For this mini album journal, I am using a digital file by Marcy Coat and it is called Watercolor Roses. And I will link below where you can get this file as well. And um, it comes with 10 sheets, 10 full size sheets with all kinds of different um, designs on it with the roses, it's upside down for me. And then it, in, in those 10 sheets, it also has some journaling pages. And then it has six sheets of ephemera and tags and um, envelopes and different little things that you can use to decorate your journal. So we're gonna be using these sheets to cover the pages for our album. So now we're gonna work on the first page that's going in our book. So I've already cut out all the pages with the ephemera and the um, tags and everything. So I have that cut out, I have that done, and I went ahead and I cut my first little flap that I'm gonna put on the page. What I did was cut mine at four and a quarter wide by seven long. Okay, so then I've decided what papers I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this sheet on the flap and I started to cut it and then I thought maybe I should show you. And then I've already cut this one that's going on the page. So this will be going to the page like this, and then I will be adding the flap underneath it. So that's why I need to glue my flap on before I glue on my the paper for the page. So when creating your page, be sure that you keep in mind that this is the inside of the book here, where it opens up. This is gonna be your top. It's gonna to open up at the top where you can put things in, and that'll be a pocket, and this is gonna slide over the hinge in your page. So be sure to keep that in mind and so when you're decorating your page, you know how everything's going. To add the flap, we're just going to fold it in here and all I did was score that and I scored this flap at a quarter inch. So I forgot to tell you that. So this is four and a quarter. So I scored it four inches. Well, let me take that back. This is four, yeah, this is four and a quarter. And so I scored at three and three quarters. So this is three and three quarters inches wide. And you can make yours as wide as you want that will fill on the page. So now our flap is going to attach this way on the page. So what we wanna do is be sure to put the glue right down this part of the flap. We're just going to line it up and this is the folded edge of the page. So this is gonna be the outside edge of the page. So we're just going to line it up so that I want it to be even to the top and bottom. So what I'm saying, I want the same amount at the top and the bottom and just eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I want this flap to just go right up against the edge of the page. I don't want it to be sticking over. So I'm gonna turn it over and make sure it's not showing and it's not, so that's perfect. And then I'm just gonna press it down there press it and so here you have the flap on the first page. So now we can go ahead and we can glue our paper onto the page. And what I did is I cut this at five and one quarter by seven and three quarters. And that leaves just a little bitty bit around the um, edge of it. And I think it's probably about an eighth of an inch around the whole edge, but I'm did not measure, so I can't remember. I didn't do the math, I should say. So now we're just gonna add this, and we just want to kind of center it up on the page. Just trying to get kind of the same amount all around it. And I'll tell you what I forgot to do. I wanted to ink the edges, but that's okay because I can go back and I can just ink the edges um, while it's on the page. That's not going to be no, any big deal. But I'm looking at it now trying to decide if I do want to ink the edges. I kind of, I do want to ink them just a little. So I'm just using a very soft uh, brown. It's, it's called soft suede. And then I'm just going to go and just ink around the edges some. 
and I, I like it being on the brown uh, as well so it kind of all blends. Just softly inking it. So now I want to make this, I'm going to just decorate this, but I want to make this a pocket. So what I had in mind was I cut a piece of decorative paper right here. I'm going to cut it to fit. So let's cut this at seven inches. And this is three and three quarters wide. So it's, this piece has already been cut at three and three quarters wide. And I want the roses on it. So let's do seven inches here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I want to cut a diagonal cut on here. And I'm making sure I leave some edge in here when I cut it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut it. And then this will make two pockets. Let me show you what I'm thinking. So by cutting it like that, I can either do two layered pockets like this, and or I could have flipped it over if it was something on the back there, but I did not print these with two um, backs. So I think I'm just going to do it like this, but I kind of wanted, let me think about that, because I kind of want the roses there, and I could just angle this one up here and just glue it. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to ink the edges up. And I'm trying to make this one with no waste. When I when I go to make my um, pages with my cuts and stuff, I don't want a lot of extra scrap left. So I'm trying to cut it so that I am using up all my paper, but not having a bunch of scraps left over. I recently just finished a journal, a junk journal, and I had so many scraps left over that I'm going to have to do some collaging with them, which I love having scraps, but doing a bunch of journals in one month or projects, you wind up with a lot of scrap. And I can't hold on to it all and I really hate trashing it, so it's nice to do a project that doesn't come up with a lot of scrap. So since this is going to be a shorter pocket, but it's not going to matter for this album, but I'm just going to layer it up like this. Let's see here. I'm kind of just making this up as I go. And this one still fold because I have to make sure that when we have it, um, and is it going to show on the other side? Is what we want to make sure as well. And I don't think so. Other than needing to um, cut the edge there where it's rounded. And I may have to cut just a little bit. That's okay. I can cut it as I go. So first off, I want to see. So I'm going to layer the pocket like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this one on. And I'm just going to glue on three sides. And you can just make this up as you go. Just do what you want to do with it. It doesn't have to be anything, um, anything to stress about. This is supposed to be relaxing and fun. And I'm, I'm loving all these papers here, the roses. I know I mentioned before, I love roses pink roses, and so this is just perfect. I'm going to glue it on three sides as well. And I'm just going to attach it, line it up with this one, and line it up with the bottom edge. And I got just a little glue on it. Let me wipe that off real quick before it decides to stay. Okay, so I know I'm going to have to round the bottom because I um, round the edge because I've already cut this one and rounded the edge. So I'm just going to cut that little extra. It's just hanging over by just a little bit. So I'm just going to cut that off. So there we go. And then I'm just going to cut that edge. I wonder if I could, I'm not going to try to use my punch again. I'm just going to cut around. There we go. That looks good. So now we have a little pocket. And I'll pull out a tag just to show you. I won't, I'm not going to be using these shorter tags in it. I'm going to make some longer tags. But I'll just show you there's a pocket and then there's a pocket. Okay. And so then I've got to decide what do I want to do with this side. And I'm just looking. I don't think I'm going to use the other piece of this. I do like this one. So I could cut this one and maybe just add a little dolly to the edge. Cut the dolly to fit. 
So that's what I'm going to do. So this pocket is, like we said, three and a quarter, three and three quarters by seven. So we want to cover the whole pocket. So that's what we're going to cut. Three and three quarters by seven. a glare on it tonight and I don't have to really work to see it. Okay. So now we're just gonna add this. And actually now that I think about it, I want some of the I want some of the edge. So I need to cut this down just a little. So I need to cut it at I always like to cut a quarter of an inch smaller. So let's do it at three and a half by six and three quarters. I have to just kind of figure it as I go since when I'm designing like this as I go, it, um, I have to just do it that way. So now I'm gonna to want to round the edges on two sides. So let me find the side that I use to punch it. And then just punch and punch. So that'll be like this, and then we'll have it, I think that's gonna look good. So I do wanna ink the edges before I get started. And I had a piece of scrap paper that I was inking on earlier. So I'm just gonna ink all the edges real quick. Okay. Then I'm just gonna add that there. And what I'm gonna do is, I am going to go rank, go through and decorate up my pages um, with the papers and with the little flaps and different pockets and things. But then I will go back another day and do all the embellishing on it and making some tags and embellishing the pages up more with just little ephemera and different things. So I wanna get the basics down and get all the little flaps and things put in before I do that. And then I can go back through and just see. And I think these colors look really good together like that. So now we have the first page for our album. And so that's good. And we'll just need some tags for it and then maybe maybe we'll do some embellishments on this little page as well. And I think this will be great. This page could even be used for journaling or you could add pictures to it and some journaling tags in here to tell about the picture. And you could add pictures here and maybe we'll put something here that you can uh, journal or embellish with. So that is the first side. Okay, now let's go ahead and decorate the back side of the page. So I'm going to use this piece of paper that we used um, for the flap, I mean for the pockets on the flap. And so now I'm going to cut it down to cover this page. And this page, I'm not gonna put any flaps on it. I am going to um, decorate it with a pocket or tuck spot. So for this one, I need to cut it at five and a quarter. Let me decide which, what do I want on what side. Let me see here. I want it like this, so five and a quarter. Make sure I see that. I've got a little glare. When I, when I craft in the evenings in here, it's a little darker, so it makes it a little hard to see. And then seven and three quarters. And that's going to cut my frame off. So what I want to do is I want to go, um, I'm going to cut that at eight on this end. And then I'm going to flip it over and cut it. Um, Actually, that was not enough. So let's just cut just a little more off. I'm just going by eighth of a time, eighth at a time, kinda. And now I'm going to sixteenth because I kind of want the frame at the top and the bottom to be the the strip here to be the same. So if I go a sixteenth at a time, I can just take a little bit off or eighth at a time. I can take a little bit off so that it is even, and we get down to the seven and three quarters. Okay, there we go. So just a little bit by bit. So I can, when, when you're doing pages like this, sometimes you do have to fussy cut. I do anyways, because I want them to be a certain way in my mind, and so I have to get it that way. 
So now, just going to even it up on the page, and I like that. So I want to ink it. I'm going to ink all my pages. Let me put this paper down again. I'm just going to ink like this for this one. I like this one. It has the flowers, but then it has the um, like the receipts and the labels and the different things on it. So now let's just make sure we now be sure you got your uh, page right side up when you go to do this and so you don't want to glue anything on upside down and so we're just going to glue that on like that yes we just want to center this up on the page and I just started it way too soon let me see here get it lined up right I just want all the edges to be pretty eyeball even it doesn't have to be perfect but just eyeball it and then just press it down and I'm going to go ahead, I'm looking at this, I want to ink the brown part too. I'm just going to ink that up some. And there, now we have our first page. So this will go into the book like this and we'll have the first two pages completed. Well, not completed, but we still have to decorate them. And I'm going to add a pocket to this one, and I think, let me show you what I'm thinking of putting. Um, it's just a little, so this was one of the ephemera pieces, and I'm really thinking about adding that as my tuck spot. So let me ink it up and see if I like that on here once it's inked up. I think the inking helps outline it for these pages so it doesn't get lost on the pages when you're putting something like this down. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I do like that on there. So I'm just going to take and just ink around just, a, just lightly, just to kind of dingy up that white. I just, I just like it a little bit dingier. And so there, and so what I'm gonna do is just glue on the two sides, those two sides, so that we have a tuck spot right there. So let's just do that. I'm just gonna follow along the edge here. And there we go. I'm just gonna glue it right on the edge of the page, right up against the edge of our decorative piece of paper. Still leaving the border around our page. And so see, we'll have a little tuck spot. And then if you were using this for a mini album as a, for photos, then you could just tuck your photo in there as you glue it on. So that's really cute. So I really like the first two pages. For page number two, we're going to make a flap that folds down. So I've already got the piece of paper. This was left over from where I cut my other flap for page one. So I'm just trying to use up all of my scraps and, and pieces and not have any scraps. So this was left over from that sheet. So I just grabbed it. I'm going to tell you the measurements. So it is a four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So if you save your scraps, you probably will have this. So now I'm just going to score. A quarter inch flap on it so let me get my scoring tool okay so since it is six and three quarters we're going to score it at six and one quarter and just make a flap here so then we're just going to cut the edges of our flap just like this because that helps it to kind of be out of the way when we fold it back and then we're going to add it to the top of the page so just keep in mind that this is the part that goes in towards the spine of the book, the open part, and then this is going to be a pocket on the page. So we're just going to just see which matches up. We're going to fold this back, and then what we're going to do is we're going to tuck it down inside of that pocket. So it's going to be hidden, and so it's going to be tucked in there, So, and we're just going to center it up, and then so you lift it up like this. But first, I want to round the corners. So let me round the corners on this one. 
and I don't think I want to cover it before I put it on. I think I can still cover it and do everything I want to with it after I put it on. So we're just going to put glue on the inside of the flap this time and then just attach it inside the pocket. And hopefully you can see that. So we're just going to attach it inside the pocket. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, it may be easier before we do that. Let's go ahead and ink the edges while we can hold it in our hands like this. It will probably be a lot easier to ink those edges up too. Okay, so then I, I can hold this one. It's pretty sturdy, but this one's going to be a little flappy on it. So now we're just going to add the glue to the inside of our flap. And then you just, you want to put it down in your pocket, but you don't want to put the edge up, you want it near your, the edge of your, your uh, score line, but you don't want to cover your score line because then it's going to make it hard, bulky and hard to um, fold over. So you just want to line it up straight and then let's just fold it down, make sure that it looks straight. And you want it even on both sides. So then you're just going to press down and there you have your flap. I'm just going to press it good. Now be sure that you did it on the inside of your flap so that you keep it open, that you don't glue your pocket shut. So there we have that one. So I'm going, I think that what I want to do is I want to add this paper to the inside and then this paper to the outside flap. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do special with this flap. Do I want to add a pocket here? Or, and if I am, then I might want to put this paper on the inside so you can journal on it. I like it on the outside, so let's just add it to the outside. And then, if I add a pocket, I can put it over top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece first. And you're going to cut it at five and a quarter. by seven and three quarters. And let me see how the frame, I wanna cut it off the bottom. My my printer was having a little issue there and it show, it's got some black lines. That is not in the print. I had to clean my, um, do the cleaning cycle on my printer to make that go away. So let's, there we go. Make sure that's gonna fit. So that's gonna be perfect on there. And then for our flap, so I'm gonna cut it at six. I want to leave these flowers on, so let's turn it this way. I'm going to cut it at six, and then I'm going to cut it at, it was four and three quarters, so I'm going to cut it at four and a half. Let's see how that looks. I may want to change it like that, so now I just need to round the corners. just glue our pieces on so let's see here we want to ink them up first this is my favorite part is adding the papers and decorating then when we get to decorating the tags and the pages I just love the whole decorating part building the album is fun but the, my, my favorite part is decorating and using all these pretty papers so let's add that I, I want to add just a little bit more ink to the top let me find a piece of scrap and we'll just go like this. I want to add just a little bit of where it kind of looks a little bit more brown. So it's not just on the edge. And I like that. So now I'm just going to glue that on. And these make great gifts, I think. Um, this would be good for a baby shower, somebody who's having a little girl, you could use it. I think this would be good for um, even wedding pictures could go in this. And I also, when I started making it, I was thinking more of spring and Easter. Um, it would make, uh, even though I have boys, I think that with the pinks like this, I could use for spring and Easter. So, um, 
you know, like for this page, I was thinking, you know, you could journal about the Easter party you went to or the egg hunt, and then, you know, on this page would be pictures of it. And you can even put pictures here. So, um, it's kind of my thoughts behind this one is that it's a, it's a journal and a mini album where you can really document an event. I don't take as many pictures as I should on a daily basis. It seems like sometimes for holidays I take more. I don't do as much as I once did on any of them. But my children are getting older. And when they're younger, it's easier to get pictures of them. When they're older, they kind of do their own little thing. So, so let's see there. Is that enough inking? I'm going to find my sheet of paper real quick. I want to, I just want to ink that just a little bit more. Kind of get a little bit more around the edges there of the paper. Okay, and then I want to ink this up, the actual page. Just going to add this to the page. And if you can see on here, I uh, made a mistake and printed um, a sheet that I didn't need to. It was just the sheet, the description about it. And so that's okay. I just flipped it over. No waste. Just print what I need to on it. And you could print these double-sided if you were making a project that needed double-sided paper. Um, but for this one, I was just going to be covering it up, so I did not because I, I would have hated to cover it up then. So that's, but yeah, so even pay, if you have sheets and stuff that you've messed up on, if you're going to do a project like this, print on those. Save them and print on them. I believe in saving and not wasting. I think it's best to not waste and use what you have so that or what you have will last longer if you don't waste it, right? So, here we go. So I just centered that up on there. And then I'm going to have to decide what's going there. I do like this one here. Let's take a look. I have some more papers from another set that uh, Marcy has, and this one is called Watercolor Roses Backgrounds. And I'm thinking that might be cute to put on that page. Um, or there's one more that I printed from that set. And here's another sheet. And my, this is where my printer was messed up. So like I said, I had to fix my printer. Once I printed these sheets, I realized it. And so this is not on the print. This is something to do with my toner. So I fixed that though. So the rest of the sheets came out pretty good. But this is a sheet from her Watercolor Roses background and it goes perfectly with this journal set. So I'm gonna add that at the top there. I like that. So I'm gonna cut it four and a half. And I'm just gonna cut that ugly part off that my printer did by, oops, by six. So we'll just do it like that. And I'll save the other part of it though because we'll need it for tags and things. And now it's going to go in here. I'm trying to see if there's a direction I do think it's, in my mind, I'm thinking that it may be, but then I'm looking if the leaves go different directions, so it may not be. But I'm going to do it like that, so I'm going to round these corners. And if you're crafting along with me and making this album, um, you don't have to use the same papers that I do on each page. You could mix these papers up and use, you know, you could use more of, the, of these prints, and every page could be more of the same. You could use, um, you know, this one on a page where I didn't use it. It, it don't have to you know, be exact, but I would love to see, if you follow Craft Along with me and you make this album, I would love to see your version of it and what all you do with it. And so if you do, you can tag me on Instagram at Making Crafts Studio, and I'll have the link below. Well, I'll have my tag below. Or you can also um, tag uh, me on Facebook, Making Crafts, and just... Um, I would love to see what you're making. You can share it on my uh, Facebook page. And I would love to see your projects. That you create. And I forgot to ink those, but that's okay. We can just go back and just rub ink around the edges now that it's on here. It's not that big a deal. Nothing to stress. This is fun. So let's just take, and I'm just gonna go and ink around there. Like that. And that'll be perfect. It actually, you get both edges done at the same time this way. 
may not be doing the edges as good as it would, but that's okay. I still think it's fine. And so there we have it. So we have this flap that opens up and then that one. And so you still got your pocket here. So now we're gonna work on the back side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and use this sheet on this page. And so this comes in the kit and you can fold it up. There's two of these in the kit. So you can fold it up to make a little pocket for a tag. But I was looking at it and it comes like this. And I was thinking, what if we just fold it in half, fold it up with a little tab back and attach it to the back side of our paper to make just a little flap. And then when we raise this flap up, I'm thinking of having um, something right here as a tuck spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that to this paper once I cut it down. So I'm gonna cut this down to five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. So once again, my printer was messing up when I did this one. So I am going to just cut along that line there. So there. We now have it. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. So, we're just going to, first, we need to add our little tab. I'm just gonna add it to the top here, and it adds just a little bit of interest and in something else going on on the page. So let me ink that. And I just took some time and sat and watched TV and cut all these pieces out. Um, this afternoon so that's a good time to when you're working on something like this instead of waiting until you're sitting down to work on it to cut all the pieces out I find that it's easier if I go ahead and have them cut out so I can kind of play around with the pieces and see what I like and where I like it so I'm gonna turn this over and just ink that just a little bit more it is a bit I'm not getting the edges good the way I was doing it okay and then I'm going to decorate this up once I, like I said, I'm going to go back and decorate the pages up and the little things that's on the pages. So we just want to add some glue to the inside of this flap. And then we're just going to attach the flap to the back side of our paper and just decide where you want it. And then I'm just putting up the top here because I didn't want to co cover my flowers. I didn't want to cover the flowers that's at the bottom. But I thought it might be good up here to add just a little interest to it. Make sure I don't have that crooked. And you do want to make it so it will close, so you don't want to be on your score line. And then we're just going to, and then make sure, look back and make sure you got your page right side up before you glue this on. This may be a two or three part series. If so, um, I'm going to try to do it all within the same week so that you can, if you want to craft along, you can get yours done as well. I think this would be great for Valentine's Day as, as well as a gift for somebody, one of your crafting partners or swap partners or crafting buddies or it would be a good little gift to give them for Valentine's Day. And so there we got that and I once again I forgot to ink so that's okay though I can just get the edges this way. That may be how I do all of them anyway, because I keep forgetting. Which this one doesn't need a lot because of the color. It's okay, just around the lighter part. Might want some. These don't have to have it. You don't have to ink up your pages. You can just leave them the colors that they were. I just think it's neat to, I like inking my edges. Okay, so now we have the front of this one, of page two. And the back of page two done. We'll finish up and then we'll decorate them next. But so now we have two sets of pages done. Okay, so let's get started on the next set of pages. And for you, it's just been a few seconds. For myself, it's been uh, another. It's another day. So hopefully, I don't repeat some of the things I was talking about when I was working on the other pages. But um, I just thought I'd explain why, just in case I do. So this time, I'm going for this page. I'm going to be using this sheet from the set that I'm working through and I'm going to cut it so that um, we're going to have a flap that flaps out kind of like we did on the first page except it's going to be the same length as this page and when it flaps out you're going to have half 
the wreath on one side and half on the other. So I'm gonna to have to cut around it on that one to make it work. So let's get started on that. So our pages are, I'm just gonna remind myself because it's been a day since I've worked on them. They're eight inches tall. So I'm going to cut this. So we're going five inches wide. And then we are going to cut it off at eight inches tall. I'm trying to use, I have very little waste, so I'm trying to cut it in a way that I can use all the paper. So now let's see, so we have it the same height. Now I want to make myself a little flap, so I'm going to score a half inch flap. So I'm going to score a half inch flap, so at five inches, that means that I'm going to need to score at four and a half inches. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and cut diagonally across the corners. Just like we did on the other pages. Okay, so then we're just going to fold that. And I'm trying to match the sides. My papers have different color on each side, so I'm trying to make sure it matches. So that's good. So now I'm just going to fold this flap towards what's going to be the front here. Let me see. No, actually, I'm going to fold it back. So we're just going to fold it back and score it. So let's just fold it back. And so we're going to attach it like this. And then it's going to, we're just going to line it up. And that way we'll have a whole page flap. We're going to apply glue to the back, to this flap here, right here on the edge. And I want to make sure that my uh, page is laying so that the opening that's going to go um, onto the spine of the book is pointing towards the left. And so now I'm just going to add glue to my flap. Once again, I'm just going to repeat myself. Be sure that you're gluing to the opposite side of where the piece opens up. And so now you want to just attach the flap onto the front of this page here. And what we're going to do is just line it up right with the edge. And you want to make sure that it's lined up with the top and the bottom of the page. And once you have it lined up and everything's straight, you just want to press it down. Turn it over, make sure it's not showing on the back side. And so now we're just going to press. And let's make our next flap. And using the piece of paper that we just cut this flap from, we're going to cut a flap for the top piece. And I'm just going to measure here. I'm going to eyeball what I want it to be, um, how wide I want it to be. Let's do four. Let's, let's make it five. Let's cut it at five. And then, with the wrong thing, let's cut it at five inches. So I'm gonna use the paper like this. So I've already got a piece of paper that measures six by eight and a half. So we're gonna put the paper, the eight and a half, from the strip we just cut this piece from, we're gonna put it in our uh, paper cutter with the eight and a half side to the top. And then we're just gonna cut that at five inches. And so that way it's going to be five by six. Just lay that aside there. And so now I have decided I'm going to round the corners. I don't like the corners um, not rounded for the flaps. So I'm going to go ahead and round both corners. So for this one, I'm going to round it as well. But first, let's go ahead and score another half inch. Okay, so now we want to score this. And we want to put it in here with the six inch side to the top. So it needs to measure six inches across here. And then we want to score a half inch flap. And if you want smaller flaps, you can. I just like the bigger flaps, so I always go with a half inch on mine. Now we're going to take this flap and we're going to take and we're going to turn it towards the back. And so then it's going to fit right down inside the top pocket and we're, it will fold down like this. So now I want to Go ahead and round the corners. I'm trying to see which side I used last time. So they all kind of match. Okay. 
And then what we want to do is we're just going to add the glue right here on the inside of this flap. Got a piece of, got a piece of dry glue on it. I let it sit too long. And I, the lighting is probably different from yesterday. We're having a very cloudy, rainy day today. So hopefully the lighting is okay. I'm having a little trouble seeing because it's a little dark in here. But it's a great day to be crafting. So I want to make sure that I line that up so that it's fairly even across the top. And so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just eyeball it. Slide it over just a little. So we're just going to press that down. So then we'll have this flap that folds in and this flap that folds down. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to cut the decorative paper that I want to go on it. And I'm going to get this one. Okay, so the first one needs to measure five and a quarter. So I kind of want to cut just a little off of this edge, though, for the way I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to cut just the strip off there, and I'm going to save it because I'm going to use that possibly. So five and a quarter right here, and just cutting the wreath down. I'm just going to cut through it like that, and then we are going, let me see about this flap. I want to make sure that it's all going to fit. So this flap is four and a half. So how much is left of this paper? So I'll just cut a little strip off the side there. Okay, and so then the height needs to be seven and three quarters. So I'm just gonna take a little off of the bottom and a little off of the top so that we end up with seven and three quarters. Okay, and then for this piece, it needs to measure seven and three quarters. So I'm just gonna take a little bit off the bottom and I want it to line up with this one. So let's just make sure that I'm getting it close. So at the bottom there, I need just a little bit more off. So let's just line it up there. And I'm just, what I'm doing is trying to line the print up so that everything works out good together. And this is just a little bit of fussing just because this is how I want this page to look. So that um, when I put them together, they're going to fit back like they were. So now we just need to do seven and three quarters off the top. I'm not taking it off the top, that it will equal seven and three quarters. And let me just line this up real quick and make sure that it's going to work out right. Yes, and then, so now let's just take the rest off the top. So seven and three quarters. So there we go. So let's see how this turned out. It's supposed to line up like this, and that's gonna look good. So let's glue our pages on. So for this one, we need to, punt, to use our punch and round those corners. Oops, I dropped it. Okay, so we're just gonna glue those on. I wanna make sure this one I'm just going to have to take just a little off so that it fits right inside that score line. Right there. Just lining that up. And then this one's going to be like this. And there's going to be a gap between it because so, you got to keep a gap for your, um, for the, the uh, part that we scored so the flap can bend back and forth. So that would be centered there. And then this will be centered here. And I think that looks good. I'm debating on cutting just a little bit off the edge of this one. Just a little bit more. Just a tad bit so that we can have more material around the edge of it. It kind of looks more framed out. Okay, so I like the looks of that. So now I'm just gonna glue it down. Oops, this cap is all over the place. It's sticking to my finger. Okay, so let's just add a little glue. All 
Okay, so now I want to use this sheet, and this sheet is from the background set, and I'm going to use it on the front here. So I want to cut it to fit. So we're gonna cut this paper at four and three quarters by five and a quarter. By five and a quarter. And let's see if that fits. And it does, so let's just round the corners on it to match. And then we're not gonna forget to ink the edges real quick. Let's add some glue and attach it. Okay, so there we have it. Just gonna press that down real good. And now I'm gonna make a journaling spot on the inside cover. So I have this sheet from the kit that I'm going to cut down to the same size. So I like how this has turned out so far. I like how these two pages work together. And I also like that this one, this is folded down. I like the little journaling spot. When this is folded down, I think it looks good with these papers. And so now I need to just decide what I'm gonna put on the outside here. And let me look and see. I may, see it's gonna be like this, and this is gonna be on it. Let me look and see what I have that I've already cut, because I wanna use everything up. Would these two be too much together? I like that. I also have this one that I like as well. And let's see what else I have over here. So what I do is I, as I'm working on a project, I have this little tin here that I, when I'm working on a book, a, a journal, or um, a project, a big project like this, I have this tin where I just keep all my pieces, of papers in, and where I keep um, the actual journal parts and everything, so I can keep it all together, so that. Um, it also is an easy way to clean up at the end of the day. End of the day, I just grab all the stuff, throw it in there, and then I can start fresh the next day. So I'm just trying to decide now which one I want on this one. And I'm leaning towards the music sheet, so that's what I'm gonna do. I like that one. So I need to cut this four and a quarter by seven and three quarters. So let's see what, piece, what part I want. So I'm gonna cut it down to seven and three quarters. And then I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. Let me get that lined up straight there. And then I need to round the edges. I'm going to ink the edges real quick. I'm going to move this out of my way. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put a pocket on this or some sort of decorations. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave it. How does that look? I'm looking at it. Do I have it upside down? Or, actually no, I think this is the way it goes because the music notes up here. My, son, my sons play music and read music, but I don't know much about I don't know a lot about music. I can read some, but all those notes, that'd be way too much for me. So now I'm just gonna attach this to the front. Just be sure to center it up again. Okay, I like that. So I like how this one turned out. So now we're gonna flip it over and do the back side. And so I'm thinking since this one has so many flaps on the front, that the back side I'm just gonna do like my other ones with the fronts have flaps and the back side has like a tuck spot or some other feature instead of flaps. So let me um, 
I may just have pockets on this one. Let me decide what piece of paper I want to put on that. I think I'll use this one that I haven't used yet from the kit. And so I'm going to just go ahead and cut it down. And I apologize for the dogs barking. Okay, so for this one, we need to just cut it at five and a quarter. by seven and three quarters. I'm ready to lay that. And then I'm just gonna add it to the page. And just be sure, like I said before, make sure you look and make sure you got your page the right side up. And then I'm just gonna attach it there. So let me go ahead and ink it. Okay, so now I have both pieces inked, and I, I really like how the edges look on this one, on this paper once it was inked. Um, I'm going to start fast forwarding through the inking because um, this video is getting rather long, and I know that you don't want to sit through just watching me ink and glue. So I may fast forward through the glue in as well on um, things like this that's pretty self explanatory that you're just going to glue it to the page. Okay, so now I've got this one added to the page, and I really like this piece of paper. I don't know how I missed it as I've been going through the rest. It's in my box there and I just it got behind another sheet. So I'm going to just leave this like it is for now and then when I come back and decorate it, I'm going to add some sort of pocket to it then when I do my decorations because I'm going to decorate up some tags and pockets and that's going to help me make a decision as to um, what goes on which pages. So I just want to show you what we have so far. We're at, we have the three sets so far. So now I'm going to move on to the fourth set of paper. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload part three of this series.